Hey guys, this is Fatih. Uh, I'll just basically go over real quick on how to set up uh, the plugins and brushes that you need to create uh, flow maps inside of Photoshop. Uh, the first plugin is called uh, Listen Izumi. It basically well, it does more than just uh, smooth out your strokes in Photoshop. Uh, but I'll just let you have to take a look at it sometime. Uh, the next one is called Solidify from FlamingBird.com. Um, this is basically similar to the uh, dilation filter that comes with uh, XNormal. Alright, so with those two plugins uh, in Photoshop, first of all, you need to have a uh, a normal map of a cone, which is like what you see on the screen right now. So with that, you need to set up uh, the mixing brush. So the mixing brush you can select using the regular brush. Uh, make sure to set wet to 0%. So basically it's dry low to 100%. And you need to make sure that the um, load the brush after each stroke is enabled. And clean the brush after each stroke is enabled as well. So with that, uh, on the image with the normal map cone, alt click on the center of the image. So as you can see in the mixer brush uh, toolbar, the normal map is now being used as an image that we will paint it with. So there you go. Now as you can see, it's not perfect. Like it's really like this won't be useful as well. So this is where we use the um, Lazy Nizumi plugin. So let me just close this up. So now as you can see, it's really smooth. Yeah, so basically, for this brush, you can download it as well. I will put a link in the description as well. It's really simple, just like the other brushes before Photoshop, really. You can just load it in. And to operate in the list, right? Right, so basically, next up is actually create guides for the film. So just imagine you have like hair or something, which want to have a, a anisotropic effect on it, right? Right, so let's say you have an UV map with, like, I don't know, with hair on it, right? And just like different directions and whatnot. Let's say this is like a ponytail or something like this, and this is like the top of the air, right? So, in order to create the flow map, we will be painting guides instead of actually painting the flow map itself. So make sure the brush is selected. I need to reset or re enable the, the image. There we go. Cool. So now we just paint in the guides with the Every time you get better resources with it, because it, because the, uh, the solidify filter will need to fill in less gaps, I guess. So the more guides we have, the better it will be.
uh, really it's best to uh, do like sections of hair on different layers so you can mess them out, mask them out uh, better because otherwise there will be some overlap on each center like where the direction is different so I guess with the guides done what I like to do is uh, just lock the layer apply a small blur this will help with the uh, solid fly filter after that unlock the layer just close the filter solidify I don't really know what the differences are with these so I'll just pick any and there you have it it's created a uh, nice film at 